Hey guys, it is your girl Randy and I'm back with another video. So I have a message for you guys and Heavenly Father wants you to know this is not going to be for everyone, but you'll know if this message is for you. And so Heavenly Father wants you to know and again, take this back to God, make sure that it's for you. Um, but there's two things that he wants you guys to know. He says that God loves a cheerful giver, not a cheerful lender. Again, God loves a cheerful giver, not a cheerful lender. And so what do I mean by that? Basically... He brought back to me um, how the Israelites were getting led out of Egypt. And this also has to do with the wealth transfer. So some of you may experience this as well. But, you know, at the end of the day, take it back to God. I'm not saying that this is exactly what's going to happen. But God just wants you guys to know. And he was letting me know that he loves a cheerful giver and not a cheerful lender and he brought me back to the story of the Israelites and how Moses was led to lead the Israelites out of Egypt from their bondage because they were in slavery and a lot of us don't realize and understand the whole reason why the Israelites were in bondage and in slavery is because they had borrowed silver and gold from the Egyptians. And so what ended up happening when the Israelites borrowed silver and gold from the Egyptians, they couldn't pay the money back because they were already struggling and in bondage and had all these things going on in their life. And so what ends up happening is a wealth transfer happens. And part of a wealth transfer is God canceling debts as well. God canceled the debts of the Israelites. And how did he do that? The whole purpose and the whole reason why the Israelites were even in bondage, again, was because they owed silver and gold. And basically, we know that was money. And they couldn't pay back the money, so Pharaoh, the lender, which was the Egyptians, there was, you know, some before him, but train a child in the way they should go, and when they get old, they will not depart from it. So how Pharaoh was taught and trained is when a person doesn't pay back their debt to enslave them and make them slaves until they paid back their debt. And Pharaoh did not want to let the people go, which is why God sent Moses to free his people before Moses even knew that, that, that those were his people who were in bondage and who were slaves and who were being poorly treated because of the debt that they owed. And so what ended up happening, God allowed and hardened Pharaoh's heart because God says, he has mercy on who he wants to have mercy on, and he hardens who he wants to harden. And so God had mercy on the Israelites, and he hardened Pharaoh's heart. And so Pharaoh, all he cared about was money. And that's the difference between God loving a cheerful giver and a lender. Because a cheerful giver does not expect anything back. They give and it is given on to them, is what the Bible says. Given it shall be given on to you. That's why God says, even if you give any one of the least of these a cup of cold water, surely you would not lose your reward because God is with the poor. He said, let the poor say that I am rich and let the weak say that I am strong. And so it is important to understand that. And the problem with the lender is the lender put their trust and their faith into their money, their gold, their silver. 
into their own abilities because of what they had. And they didn't believe that there was a God and Pharaoh was talking bad about God and basically saying, oh, where's your God? Where's your God? Oh, your God's going to help you. Your God's going to do this. Your God's going to do that. And basically was mocking God and basically saying that I'm the number one priority and you paying me back my money is what's more important than you believing in your fake God, which we know that God is not fake, but they didn't care about them having a relationship with God. All Pharaoh cared about was him getting his money and the ones before them and before them and before them. And God, that's why he says, I will humble those who exalt themselves and I will exalt those who are humbled. And so what ended up happening is when Moses came to set the people free, the Israelites free and led them out of Egypt, a wealth transfer happened when God departed the Red Sea. And so what happened was the Israelites who were in debt from the silver and the gold that they borrowed, guess what? When God wiped Pharaoh away, and this could also relate to the last message that God gave me, one swipe away, like swipe away, wipe away, because that's what happened to Pharaoh. God said that you're one swipe away. So this could relate to the last message too, not just about your kingdom marriage, but also about your wealth and your finances. Um, basically, it, Pharaoh and the Egyptians who were chasing Moses and the Israelites out of Egypt, what happened? They were wiped away, swiped away in the Red Sea once all the Israelites and everybody got through. And what happened? When Pharaoh and the Egyptians died, their debt died also with Pharaoh. So a part of this wealth transfer also, I'm not, and I don't wish any death or any bad on anyone, but what the Heavenly Father had showed me is that a part of the wealth transfer may be some lenders and some Pharaohs whose heart is hardened, who refuse to humble themselves and they exalted themselves and may result in them getting swiped and wiped away. So that is important for us to be humble. And it's also a message for us also too, as chosen ones, to remember to be humble, remember to be a cheerful giver as well. And to never put our trust and our faith into our finances because God says you will love one and you'll hate the other. So you're either going to love money or you're going to love me. You're going to trust me. You're going to trust your money. You're going to trust your finance or you're going to trust God. And so we can't ever, ever, part of the Ten Commandments, number one, is put no other God before me. So Pharaoh thought he was a God and thought that the Israelites should put and prioritize Pharaoh before God. And that was the number one commandment. That's the first commandment of God. And so it's important for us to not ever think that, that we're more superior and we're more higher and that we're more important than God and saving souls and getting them to the kingdom and putting and allowing seeds to be planted so that people can make it to the kingdom of God and make it to heaven. We're never and not ever going to be more superior and more higher and more important than God. And so you'll know if this message is for you. I pray this message blesses you. I love you guys. Be blessed. And I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.